Hello, my name is Laura Rose, and I'm wondering if you are somewhat like me. I was in the international corporate world for over 20 years. I was specifically in the software industry. I navigated the software ladder from developer, programmer, product designer, customer advocate, tester, quality assurance manager, and project manager. I worked with international companies around the world. I hired, fired, and managed as many as 15 people at a time. I hold five patent inventions and was invited to sit on several patent review boards. I am an expert in the quality assurance and customer advocacy field. I've written and presented articles at various conventions and conferences, and I was making a comfortable salary for my accomplishments and skills. Although I enjoyed what I was doing, there was a time when the spark and passion was waning. I felt very accomplished in the positions that I was interested in, but any next level corporate position seemed to encompass more overtime, bureaucracy, and stress than I was willing to accept and I was losing interest in my current roles and responsibilities. I felt something was missing in my life. To fill that gap, I decided to turn one of my hobbies into a small side business. I started to teach social and partner dancing on the weekends and after hours. I dabbled in the idea of entrepreneurship and the freedom of calling my own shop. I reveled in the autonomy, mastery, and passion that this experiment was providing me. The more I got involved into doing my own thing, the more I liked it. Although I enjoyed the comfort that a conventional income provided me, I was continually called towards something more. It was becoming more and more clear that I wanted to do something on my own, so I started the next piece of my journey. As a blooming entrepreneur, I was in the perfect time and space to position myself for taking that leap. I was still in the corporate world, I was still making a decent and regular salary, and I didn't feel desperate or fearful. So I used that time to prepare and plan my next life and career. I created my business plan, I identified my passion, skills, talent, and I identified what I could uniquely offer to my clients. I used this time to get certified in my area of expertise and profession. I worked with my financial advisor to arrange my funds to sustain me through the inevitable startup time. I reduced and eliminated much of my debt to reduce my monthly bills, and I prepared my home to sustain a home office environment. Once I thought I was ready, it was just a matter of taking that leap. The year was 2008, and the economy was depressed. Although my desire was to assist others through consulting and coaching, family members cautioned that it was a difficult time to start one's own business. Friends continually advised me to stay in my well-paying corporate world. Acquaintances continually recited the number of people out of work and struggling to make ends meet. I was also aware that several members of my networking community had been out of work for several years. While I appreciated and understood the position, I was still aching for something more. Although I was comfortable and at ease with where I was, I was eagerly and positively anticipating more in life. I had felt I had done my homework and I was just waiting for the right sign to take that leap. Intuitively, I felt I would receive a sign sometime in March of 2009. Actually, on February 28, 2009, my company went through a massive downsizing and layoff. There were three waves of layoffs that affected thousands of employees globally, including myself. Although co-workers were devastated, I was elated. In my mind, I was getting paid for quitting. I received a severance package as well as $2,500 retraining package, which I used towards my coaching certification. Although people were pressuring me to look for another corporate job quickly before all the good jobs went to other people, I knew entrepreneurship was my next logical step. For me, Taking the leap was natural. I was preparing my corporate exit strategy while I was comfortably in the corporate environment. Within three years, I became the owner of Rose Coaching, the corporate exit strategist, and co-owner of Inspired Action. I am not a fan of choosing to act in spite of fear. Rather, together we will collaborate towards a plan of inspired action.
We would develop a plan together that you feel confident and excited about. For us, taking the leap will be magical, exhilarating, and natural. If you are eager to take the next logical step but are unsure what it is, please investigate some of the opportunities within Rose Coaching at www.rosecoaching.info. We have books, tapes, training materials, twice monthly group coaching events, three-day workshops, and individual coaching sessions to help you on your way towards your freedom and prosperity. Or feel free to visit the Inspired Action Headquarters. We are located at 8320 Ebenezer Church Road in Raleigh, North Carolina. Have an inspired day.